Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Monday. We've got 14 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Big slate as we start the week off here. Uh, starting with the Los Angeles Angels versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as road favorites at minus 130. The Angels plus 180, or the Angels plus 120 with the over under at nine and a half. Angels coming into this matchup 63 and 68. The Phillies 72 and 58. Pitching for the Angels is Lucas Giolito with an ERA of 4.32. Pitching for the Phillies is Taiwan Walker with an ERA of 4.08. Giolito, his last start, he pitched six innings gave up one run and nine strikeouts walker his last start he pitched five innings gave up two runs had seven strikeouts the angels uh losing to the mets uh yesterday three to two phillies on a little three game winning streak coming off a nice st louis series angels 12 and three against philly they've been very good head to head here um both pitchers giving up about this, you know, two, three runs a game here. And um, I think Angels are a good underdog on the road. And uh, I'll take Angels plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the Detroit Tigers. Detroit opening up as home favorites at minus 115. The Yankees plus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Yankees coming into this matchup 62 and 68. Detroit 59 and 71. Pitching for the Yankees is Luis Severino with an ERA of 7.26. Pitching for Detroit is Reese Olsen with an ERA of 5.29. Severino, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. Olsen, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had seven strikeouts. The Yankees. Uh, two and eight in their last ten, uh, coming off a bad Tampa series. Detroit coming off back-to-back -back Houston losses. Um, Yankees, they are five and one against Detroit. You know, Yankees just haven't played well here, but in a series against the Tigers as an underdog, I just see good value with the Yankees here, and uh, I'll take Yankees plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 245. The White Sox plus 215 with the over under at 9. White Sox coming into this matchup 52 and 79. The Orioles 81 and 49. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Kopech with an ERA of 4.95. Pitching for Baltimore is Grayson Rodriguez with an ERA of 5.38. Kopech, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Rodriguez, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. The White Sox on a two-game winning streak, coming off back-to-back -back Oakland wins. Baltimore uh, coming off a Colorado loss. White Sox are just 3-7 and seven against Baltimore where they do struggle. Rodriguez has been pretty good on the mound for, as of late, for Baltimore. Kopech coming off a zero-run game, but prior to that, giving up nine runs. Um, yeah, I love Baltimore in this matchup at home, and uh, I'll take Baltimore in this one. Next matchup, we get the Washington Nationals versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 260. Washington plus 210 with the over under at 8. Washington coming into this matchup 61 and 70. Toronto 71 and 60. Pitching for the Nationals is Josiah Gray with an ERA of 3.85. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 3.23. Gray, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run at four strikeouts. Gosman, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs at eight strikeouts. Washington coming off a Miami loss. Toronto coming off a Cleveland loss. Uh, Washington 
surprisingly they're five and one against toronto here they've actually been good head to head here uh but i like gosman on the mound been been solid this season um i think they're good they're at a good spot at home with gosman on the mound and uh i'm gonna take the blue jays at home in this one next matchup we got the houston astros versus the boston red sox boston opening up as home favorites at minus 130 Houston plus 110 with the over under at nine and a half. Houston coming in in this matchup 74 and 58. Austin 69 and 62. Pitching for the Astros is Christian Javier with an ERA of 4.52. Pitching for the Red Sox is Chris Sale with an ERA of 4.68. Javier, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Sale, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had nine strikeouts. Houston, uh, on a two-game winning streak right now, back-to-back -back Detroit wins. Boston coming off an L.A. loss. Pretty even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up around two to three runs here. I think Houston's a good underdog today, and I'll take the Astros plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the New York Mets. Rangers opening up his road favorites at minus 140. The Mets plus 115 with the over under at 9. Rangers coming into this matchup 73 and 57. The Mets 60 and 71. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA of 3.55. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Meggle with an ERA of 5.54. Gray, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Megal, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. The Rangers, uh, one and nine in their last ten. I mean, they've really struggled here. Uh, Mets coming off an Angels win. Uh, the Rangers, one and six on the road. I mean, you just look at every stat. Rangers are not just not playing well right now. Um, and then it's like, do we trust the Mets here? It's very tough. Very, it's a very tough matchup here because I don't hate the Mets, but like the Rangers, they really should come out and beat the Mets, but they just look so bad. Look bad against Minnesota, Arizona, and the Brewers. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take the Mets plus one and a half at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Minnesota Twins. Wins opening up as home favorites at minus 170. Cleveland plus 140 with the over under at 8.5. Cleveland coming into this matchup 62 and 69. The Twins 68 and 63. Pitching for the Guardians is Xavion Curry with an ERA of 3.51. Pitching for the Twins is Kenta Maeda with an ERA of 4.22. Curry, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up three runs. Had one strikeout. Maeda, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs. Had six strikeouts. Cleveland uh, coming off a Toronto win. Minnesota coming off a Rangers win. Cleveland 13-4 and four against Minnesota. So they've been very good head-to-head -head against Minnesota. Pretty even pitching matchup. Both pitchers giving up about three runs a game here. And... Um, I think Guardians are a good underdog today, and I'll take Cleveland plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Padres opening up as road favorites at minus 190. The Cardinals plus 160 with the over-under at nine. Padres coming into this matchup 61 and 70. The Cardinals 56 and 75. Pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell with an ERA of 2.73. Pitching for the Cardinals is Adam Wainwright with an ERA of 8.61. Snell, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs at eight strikeouts. Wainwright, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up six runs at three strikeouts. Uh, Padres coming off a bad Brewer series, losing the last three. St. Louis losing their last three against Philly here. So both teams coming into the struggling a bit. Um... I do not like what Wainwright's been very bad on the on the mound this season for the Cardinals. Um giving up a lot of runs here. Snell been decent. Yeah, I just don't love Wainwright here and uh I'm going to take the Padres on the road. 
Next matchup, we've got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as home favorites at minus 120. The Brewers plus 110 with the over-under at 9. Brewers coming into this matchup 73-57. and 57. The Cubs 69-61. and 61. Pitching for the Brewers is Wade Miley with an ERA of 3.18. Pitching for the Cubs is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 5.52. Miley, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs at four strikeouts. Tylon, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs at six strikeouts. The Brewers um, on an eight-game winning streak right now. Uh, they're playing great, great baseball. Cubs, they're playing well, great as well. Seven and three in their last ten, coming off two nice pit wins. Milwaukee six and three against the Cubs. Been very good head to head against the Cubs here. Uh, Miley been actually pretty good, giving up about two three runs a game here. Uh, Tylon kind of been all over the place here for the Cubs. Um, had some good, but had some very bad games on the mound. I think Brewers are a good underdog, and uh, I'll take Milwaukee plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Kansas City Royals. Pirates opening up as road favorites at minus 110. The Royals plus 100 with the over-under at 9. Uh, Pirates coming into this matchup 58-73. and 73. The Royals 41-91. and 91. Pitching for the Pirates is Johan Oviedo with an ERA of 4.46. Pitching for the Royals is Zach Granke with an ERA of 5.34. Oviedo, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Frankie, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had four strikeouts. The Pirates coming off back-to-back -back Cubs losses. Uh, the Royals, two and eight in their last ten, coming off a three-game sweep uh, from the Mariners. Don't love Granky on the map. I mean, he's been just horrible all season long here, and um, I think I'm going to take the Pirates on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Colorado Rockies. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 240. Colorado plus 195 with the over-under at 12.5. Braves coming into this matchup 84-45. and 45. The Rockies 49-81. Pitching for the Braves is Bryce Elder with an ERA of 3.39. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 5.48. Elder, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Gomber, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. The Braves uh, coming off a Giants loss. Colorado uh, coming off a Baltimore win, uh, snapping their big losing streak that they were on here. Braves are 6-0 against the Rockies. 5-0 on the road against the Rockies. They've been very good against the Rockies here. Love Elder on the mound, and uh, I'm going to take the Braves on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Cincinnati Reds versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Reds plus 115 with the over under at 8. Reds coming into this matchup 68 and 64. The Giants 67 and 63. Pitching for the Reds is Andrew Abbott with an ERA of 3.16. Pitching for the Giants is Kyle Harrison with an ERA of 5.40. Abbott, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Harrison, it's only pitched once this season, he pitched three innings. Gave up two runs and had five strikeouts. Reds coming off an Arizona loss. Giants coming off a big Braves win for them. Um, yeah, just not too much experience with Harrison. Probably definitely be a bullpen game. A lot of the game here. I think Reds are a good underdog. And uh, I'll take Cincinnati plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Arizona plus 120 with the over under at eight and a half. Arizona coming into this matchup 69 and 62. The Dodgers 80 and 49. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 3.11. Pitching for the Dodgers is Bobby Miller with an ERA of 3.86.
Gallon, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, uh, had 11 strikeouts. Miller, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Arizona, eight and two in their last 10. They're playing great baseball right now. LA coming off a of Boston win. They're seven and three in their last 10. Uh, Arizona, four and 14 on the road against the Dodgers. They really struggle on the road against LA here. Uh, Miller, been, been pretty solid all season. Zach Gallen coming off three great starts on the mound. I mean, he's been very good all season for Arizona. I do like Allen on the mound, but their struggles against the Dodgers are pretty, pretty significant. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with LA at home in this one. In the last matchup, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 265. Oakland plus 230 with the over under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Mariners is Brian Wu with an ERA of 4.58. Uh, current, let's see, pitching for Oakland is, is Kyle Moeller with an ERA of 7.28. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up one run at three strikeouts. Um, Oakland coming off back-to-back -back White Sox losses. Seattle, they're still playing great. Probably one of the hottest teams right now in baseball. 9-1 and one in their last 10. Coming off a royal sweep. Oakland 1-8 and eight on the road against Seattle here. 0-7 oh head-to-head -head against Seattle here. Um, yeah, we're going to roll with the Mariners at home in this one. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Monday. Hope you guys all cash out, and we'll see you guys Tuesday. Have a good one.